for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys five sewing pattern creations, drag edition. But if you are new to the channel, my name is Javier and my passion is to help you improve your sewing skills and also expand your creativity. Inside this channel, we create costumes for drag queens and I also share my personal projects for everyday wear. In this video, we're going to talk about what you can accomplish using store-bought sewing patterns and a little bit of a backstory about each outfit. Let's get into the video. Thanks. The first outfit I ever made for drag is a corset and it is this pattern right here. Hopefully they can go and focus. So the pattern that I use is this one right here. It is a simplicity pattern and I also bought this guy right here. That's the pattern number. I had to figure something out real quick and I had to decide on what pattern and this was the perfect pattern just because it's easy to sew and there's not much to it. And let me show you the fabric of choice that I used and I'm gonna show you how it looks on the dress form. So I'm gonna be using this dress form to add all the outfits so I can show you guys what I've made. But this dress form does have a smaller torso than I do so the outfits are gonna look a little bit off but we're just gonna work with it and let's start with the first outfit. I made this dress about like three years ago as you can see pattern does have short sleeves but when i was making it i decided i wanted to make long sleeves so i just extended it from the sides one thing i also learned when making this pattern is that it is a see-through fabric so you can see my skin and i used a cotton type of fabric this is a regular cotton fabric probably like medium weight and you always want to use a lightweight material just because this doesn't stretch, it's not compatible with this fabric. You always want to make sure that they have the same type of stretch. Since it didn't, it added so much weight to the dress. The dress is pretty heavy for what it should be because this is a really light fabric, but this made it even heavy. So you always want to make sure you use the right lining. You want to make sure you hem the edges, the sleeves. And I also noticed that when I made this, I used some bias binding. You want to make sure you use the correct bias binding for this. I used also a cotton type of bias. And what ended up happening is that it doesn't stretch at all. So when I was putting it on, I did have problems getting my head through it, but not that bad. Size 38 or so in the pattern. And what I noticed is that does not fit me through the armhole. I had a big issue putting my arm through this. It did not stretch either since I didn't add any stretch to the armhole. It was super stiff and it was just up under my armpits the whole time. It was hurting actually. But other than that, I was super happy with how it turned out. And it was like one of the outfits I ever performed in and like, I guess a competition or just like performing again. And I was super happy I made something. Other times I was just wearing whatever I can find and let's actually move on to the next outfit for outfit number two I use this pattern right here it is a simplicity pattern that's number if you want to know and this was the sketch I wanted to use not the best sketch but it's all good and let's see how the outfit turned out but before I show you I do want to tell you guys I did cut the outfit in half just because I was gonna use it for a second performance and I did not have another outfit to wear so this is the second outfit I've made as you can see it has a deep V cut just so I can fit my body through it it was kind of like a trick to use so I did not have to install a zipper in the back or add any button holes to the front like the pattern has. The pattern right here does require snaps. Wasn't too experienced with that at that time, so I just avoided it. As you can see, it just has regular sleeves in this pattern right here. And I just kind of extended the sleeve, made it really big. I'll show you guys techniques in future videos on how to do that or how to accomplish that look. I use a satin type of fabric and the sleeves were super baggy. That was kind of the look I wanted to go for. Big cups, they look real nice. I will also show you guys a picture of me wearing this outfit. I'm gonna include right here. Just pop it in there so you guys can see how it looked before I did trim it and everything and how I kind of styled it a little bit with some accessories and stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed that outfit. Now let's move on to outfit number three. For the next outfit, I used this pattern right here trying to make sure you guys are able to see that it's a little bit washed out i did use this pattern and this was a sketch i made in order to achieve the look and this is what i was going for as you can see just colored it in i did take out the ruffles and i did a different type of sleeve i wanted big sleeves 
it wasn't included in here so i had to customize that feature inside this outfit and let me show you how it turned out as you can see that i did change the neckline it was originally like a curved neckline i did try to tuck it in but this is how it looks if it's all the way out as you see i did use a different type of sleeve it doesn't come in this pattern at all maybe in the future i will show you guys how to create this type of sleeve if you guys are interested i still kept the same type of style as the sleeve with it being cut open from the top and the sleeves were like this i didn't have the edges they're not finished i did do the bottom just because it was a priority of mine the back i originally did velcro just because i was doing this outfit at a really quick pace and i had to get done so i just stuck some velcro in it and i did take it out and taking seams out out of sequence fabric is really difficult so if you're gonna do like a shortcut i suggest you don't and do it the right way the first time the bottom piece this was originally just as you can see it only goes only so low and when i originally made this i had to extend it about three inches it was typically this short to begin with i was pretty short and i kind of wanted to be like a dress and that wraps up outfit number three let's move on to the next outfit outfit number four i did use the same pattern again so this is my sketch as you can see, I'm just angling it down. I did want to do like a deeper neckline and I also added a zipper. So let's see how it turned out. I used a red stretchy fabric. I did a very, very open neckline and that was a huge mistake when I had to wear this. It was kind of showing a little bit too much than I anticipated. And this is how the size looks. And for the sleeves, I did want to do this type of sleeve. It's just a regular circle sleeve. I think I had gloves with this and I lost the gloves. I have no idea where they're at. Who knows where they're at? I lost them and there were, oh. For the arms, I did use these type of gloves. I use letter F and this is the pattern number if you guys wanna know. And this is how the back looks. Looks pretty good. So the one thing that I noticed, the torso in here is really small. I did not even try it on at home. I just said, you know, I'm gonna make it and I just wear it. Everything should be fine. It was not fine. It was stretching through the back so much it was doing this type of look from my butt <laughs> to my back it was in like cinched to the waist as it should be like this and it had really bad ripples in the front so it was really unpleasing to look and i did not have a corset with this and it just wasn't that great when i wore it on stage but it was something i loved I will probably have to remake it, crop it somehow, make adjustments and make use out of it. But that's one thing I learned is for sewing patterns, they do have a certain amount of torso length. And if your torso length is longer, you have to make those adjustments when using a pattern. This was outfit number four. Let's move on to outfit number five. Alrighty, for the last outfit, I used this pattern again, the McCall's pattern. This was my anticipated design, as you can see. For this outfit, the alterations that I did was this part. As you can see, for the original pattern, it, it looks like a skirt, but it's not a skirt. It's a really, really short peplum. And I just extended it, but I cut it at an angle and it goes around under there and it comes to a point. And I did have to make some little underwear for it. So this goes right under, it's two separate pieces. And for the underwear, I just used the same pattern from this guy. And all I did was cut the waist from here. And that's how I made that bottom piece. So of course, just use your patterns again, you can make stuff. And for the sleeves, instead of using a regular sleeve, I did make the armholes for the sleeves extra big. I want to have some room in there, so they definitely did drape. And I kept the same type of style sleeve with the shoulder piece cut out. I only had most of pink fabric, so that's why it's gray in the back. It's a gray panel. It has the pink panels and then the gray in the center, and I kind of matched it with the gray at the bottom. One thing I would have done also differently is probably move this flower out of the way. This flower was like right on the crotch area. Not the best position to put a flower there. Not too bad. I really liked this one and this concludes outfit number five and all the outfits i'm also going to show you one more outfit so give me one second a simple outfit using this pattern right here before the last outfit i'm going to be inserting a clip right here 
as you can see it is black it has some peplum sleeves it's the same structure as this pattern right here and the only thing i did is add attachable sleeves it was just a big circle with some elastic and i just put it on my wrist and called it a day it was so easy to sew just because it was my third time sewing this type of structure that was the last outfit i made using a sewing pattern so there was actually six but i don't have it with me so so I just include a video in there and that kind of wraps it up for today's video I highly encourage you guys to go out there and start using patterns as a starter to learn how to sew but to wrap it up I want to say thank you for watching and remember to like the video comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel to watch more sewing projects with me but till then I'll see you guys next time bye